नाइन्थ जनवरी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू मधुपन अव्यक्त बाबा ओम शांति रिवाइज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ डिसम्बर नाइनटीन एटी नाइन द मुरलीस टाइटल एट दि अटनमेंट ऑफ ब्लैसिंग्स फ्रॉम दि त्रिदेव क्रिएटर टूडे दि त्रिदेव क्रिएटर इट सींग हिज कार्पोरियल एंड सेटल क्रिएशंस both creations are deeply loved this is why the creator is pleased to see the creation the creation constantly sings songs of happiness how wonderful the creator is and the creator constantly sings the song how wonderful my creation is the creation is loved and those who are loved are made complete by always giving them everything so the father has made each of his elevated creation complete with all three relationships in particular in the relationship of the father he has become the bestower and makes you full of the treasures of knowledge in the form of the teacher he has become the bestower of fortune and makes you fortunate for many births in the form of the sadguru he has become the bestower of blessings and fills your aprons with blessings this is called imperishable love the speciality of baba's love is that he does not like to see any weakness means kami in those whom he loves we would transform weaknesses into a wonder means kamal the father constantly has the powerful thought of transforming any weakness into a wonder because of love the father cannot bear to see the children laboring if there is a need for any type of labor then do it however in brahman life there is no need to labor because you became so full from having all three relationships with the bestower the bestower of fortune and the bestower of blessings that you can stay and spiritual pleasure without laboring you have the inheritance the study and also the blessings what need is there for a soul who has all attainments in these three forms to labor sometimes remember the inheritance and the father in the form of the bestower and you will have the intoxication of a spiritual right if you remember him and the form of the teacher you will have the intoxication of the fortune of being godly students that is the students of god the sadguru is making you move along with the blessings and every step the elevated directions for every action you perform is the blessing of the bestower of blessings someone who takes every step according to shrimat means elevated orders definitely receives at every step the blessing of success for every action easily and automatically this is known as the attainment of elevated salvation by following the instructions of the sadguru it enables you to claim liberation and liberation in life the instructions are elevated and so the salvation is elevated you definitely claim your sweet home anyway which is liberation and your sweet kingdom which is salvation however brahman souls receive an even more special salvation and that is the instant fruit of the elevated actions performed at this time on the basis of shrimat that is they achieve success it is only at the confluence age that you brahmins attain this elevated salvation this is why it is said as are the instructions you follow so is the salvation you receive those people think that they will receive salvation after death this is why they say your final thoughts lead you to your destination however for your brahmin souls during this final birth of dying life you receive the fruit of success for every action that is you have received the blessings of receiving salvation at the present time as well as in the future 
you definitely experience constant liberation and salvation you do not wait an anticipation of receiving it in the future this is the significance of the attainment of the confluence age form action now and claim the right of attainment now this is known as giving with one hand and receiving with other your deal is not made in the hope that you will receive a return at some point in the future but it is with the idea that an instant donation is a great donation such is your attainment this is known as a quick deal in devotion you wait it in anticipation of receiving something at some point in devotion you thought that you would receive it at some time whereas here the father says take it now at the beginning of establishment it was very well known that you people here receive visions very quickly that people used to have this so from the beginning there has been a very quick deal this is known as the creator's true love for the creation no one else can give such a love throughout the whole cycle no matter how loved a well known person may be this is imperishable love and imperishable attainment so no one else can be as much loved as this therefore the father feels mercy for the children who labor someone who has received blessings and right to an inheritance never has to labor the fortunate children who belong to the teacher who is the bestower of fortune always pass with honors neither do they fail nor do they feel anything wasteful there are two reasons for having to labor you either fail when you come up against some obstacles of maya or while having connections and relationships with brahmin souls or souls without this knowledge in both cases while doing anything you begin to feel vast even over small matters which you people call the sickness of flu what happens through such flu firstly they are checking men shivering there it is the body that shakes and here the stage of the soul shakes the mind shakes and the mouth becomes bitter you begin to speak bitter words through your lips what else happens there are hot and cold flushes here too when there is a bad feeling there is anger inside and you feel hot why did this one say this or do this this is your eternal anger you have experienced this have you not what else happens you do not feel like eating or drinking what happens here here too when you are told a good point of knowledge you do not like it what is the ultimate result there is weakness here too this weakness lasts for some time therefore neither feel nor feel bad about anything babdada gives you most elevated instructions have the pure feelings i am an elevated soul out of multi millions i am a deity soul a great soul a brahmin soul i am a soul with a special part those who have this feeling will not have the flu of any vast feelings stay in this pure feeling where there are pure feelings there cannot be impure feelings you will then be protected from the flu that is you will become free from having to labor you will constantly experience yourselves being sustained with blessings that you are flying ahead with the blessings and you are receiving success and the service you do with the blessings do you like to labor or it is that the habit of laboring has become firm do you like to labor or it is better to stay in the pleasure some do not like to do anything other than the sort of work that requires labor if you ask such a person to sit down comfortably on a chair he would say no give me some hard work to do 
Here, it is the labor of souls, and souls have become tired from laboring for 63 births. You have been searching for 63 births, have you not? It does require hard work to search for someone, does it not? So, you were already tired. You have already labored for 63 births. Now stay in pleasure for this one birth at least. The 21 births are things of the future, but this one birth is special. You can experience both having to labor and having pleasure. There, in the future, you will have forgotten all of those things. The pleasure is here because others are laboring and you are in the pleasure. Acha, have your teachers performed devotion? For how many births did you do that? You have not done it in this birth. Have you? Your devotion finished in the last birth. When did you start devotion? With whom did you start devotion? You too did devotion with Father Brahma. Which temple did you do it in first? So you are the original souls of the path of devotion and also the original souls of the path of knowledge. Because the devotion of the beginning was unadulterated. The happiness and the bliss of devotion according to that time were no less. That happiness and bliss were elevated in their own place. Are you part of the rosary of devotees since you began devotion? Are you not part of the rosary of devotees? Where the double foreigners part of the rosary of devotees? Did you become devotees or were you in the rosary of devotees? You are now wondering whether you were or not. Were you part of the rosary of victory and also part of the rosary of devotees? You became worshippers but were you part of the rosary of devotees? The rosary of devotees is separate. You became enlightened ones who then became devotees, whereas they are only devotees. There is a difference between the rosary of knowledgeable souls and that of devotees. The rosary of knowledgeable souls is the rosary of victory, whereas the rosary of devotees is of those who do intense devotion, those who do not want to listen to anything other than devotion. For they consider only devotion to be most elevated. The rosary of knowledgeable ones is separate from the rosary of devotees. You have certainly performed devotion, but you would not be said to be part of the rosary of devotees. This is because after playing your parts in devotion, all of you have come into knowledge. They are intense devotees, whereas you have intense knowledge. There is a difference between the sanskars of the two types of soul. A devotee is someone who always has the sanskars of asking and degraded and the father is elevated. They have those sanskars. They are royal beggars whereas you souls have the sanskar of claiming a right. Therefore, as soon as you receive the introduction, you claim all rights. Do you understand? Give some peace. To the devotees too. Will you be part of both? They have half a cycle. And you too have half a cycle. They also have to be part of the rosary that is remembered. They are still better than the people of the world outside. Their intellects are at least not in other directions. They are still towards the father. They at least remain pure. They receive the fruit of their purity, that is of being praised. You will be worshipped, but they will not be worshipped. They simply create status and position them in order to praise them. However, there is never a temple to Mira. Mira is never worshipped in the way that the deities are. She is only praised. People may worship anyone during this last birth. They may worship the earth, they may worship the trees, but according to the discipline, they, means devotees, are only priests. They are not worshipped. You are the souls who became worthy of worship 
constantly keep this intoxication in your awareness a soul who is worthy of worship cannot even touch an impure thought half you became so worthy of worship acha to the souls from everywhere who have a right to the inheritance to those who always pass with honors in their studies to those who became pastors of blessings through their own blessings and make others into bestowers of blessings to those who are very much loved by the father teacher and the satguru to the elevated souls who constantly stay in the spiritual pleasure babdadas love remembrance and namaste the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father group meeting with punjab and rajasthan zones do you constantly experience yourselves to be holy swans holy swans means those who can distinguish between powerful and wasteful those swans separate pebbles from jewels the separate pearls from stones however what do you holy swans discern you discern between powerful and wasteful pure and impure just as swans never pick up pebbles but separate them and put them aside and do not take them in the same way you holy swans put wasteful thoughts aside and adopt powerful thoughts if west thoughts do come you do not adopt them if you adopt any west you cannot be called holy swans it is stocks that adopt that you heard spoke and did a lot of wasteful things but what was the result of that you lost everything did you not you lost your bodies look at the bodies of the deities and the bodies that you have now and see what the difference is there is so much difference the older ones are better than the younger ones so you lost your bodies you lost the peace and happiness of your minds and also your wealth how much wealth did you have where did that limitless wealth go you lost it doing wasteful things are you now accumulating or are you still losing holy swans are not those who lose but those who accumulate you will now receive good bodies for 25 births and your minds will constantly be happy their wealth will be equivalent to the dust now now even the dust has become valuable but there you will be with dwells and the buildings will be decorated with dwells so how much are you accumulating those who have accumulated are happy if you haven't accumulated anything your heart shrinks if you have accumulated you have a big heart your hearts have now become so big so is your account of accumulation increasing at every step or do you accumulate only sometimes have you look at your charts very clearly at such a time too you don't sometimes let things go to waste do you you are now aware of the value of time are you not one second of the confluence each is so great it would be said that it was only one or two seconds that passed but even one second is so great if you remember this you would waste even one second to waste a second means to waste a year one second of the confluence age it's so important so you are those who accumulate not those who waste because you either waste or you earn it is only now in the whole cycle that you can earn an income so holy swans means those who do not waste anything either in their dreams or their thoughts holy means the ones who chase away any impurity in a second with the power of purity not just for themselves but for others too because you have to transform the whole world do you not you know how 
Read the power of purity is, do you not? Purity is such a fire that it can burn the rubbish of the world in a second. Complete purity is such an elevated power. At the end, when everyone will have become complete, all of this rubbish will be burnt with the fire of love in your elevated thoughts. Let your yoga be very intense. At the end, service will not take place as slowly. As soon as you think something, it happens. This is called service at a fast speed. Now, you are feeding yourself with power and then you will use it. Similarly, it is shown in the memorials of the goddesses that they burned the devils with their intense fire. They were not devils but devilish powers, of which time in that a memorial. It is of the present time, is it not? So became those with such intensity. If you don't become them, who will? So now became the ones with such intensity and burn the devilish sanskars and devilish nature. Burn everything. You have burnt your own sanskars, have you not? Or are you still burning your own sanskars? Acha. Those from Punjab have at least become fearless. You are not those who are afraid, are you? You are the ones who are volcanic. So what is there to be afraid of? You are already dead. So whom do you have to be afraid of? Rajasthan should never forget their right to the kingdom. You do not forget the kingdom and just remember the desert of Rajasthan. Do you? There is a lot of desert in Rajasthan. So always have the awareness of your new kingdom. All of you have to become fearless and volcanic and become those who burn away the Tamaguni nature that is in the elements and souls. This is a huge task. Only when you do it seedly will it be accomplished. As yet, not all the people, let alone the elements, have received the message. So increase your speed. Let there be a center in every street. Because according to the circumstances, you won't be able to go from one street to the next. You won't even be able to see one another. So there will be a center in every home, in every street, will there not a blessing. May you become equal to Father Brahma and grant a vision of the most elevated stage through your behavior and your face. Explanation Although Father Brahma was in an ordinary body, he was always experienced as being most elevated. You glimpsed the highest being in an ordinary form. Follow the Father in the same way. Although your actions may be ordinary, let your stage be great. Let there be the impression of an elevated life on your face. In worldly life, some children's behavior and their faces are like their father's. Here it is not a question of the face, but your behavior is the image. Let the father be experienced through everything you do. Let your stage be the highest, the same as the father Brahma's, and you will then be said to be equal to the father. Slogan Those who are stable on an elevated seat of a constant and stable stage our true tapasvis. Om Shanti. Experience the stage of being merged in love. God's love is a blissful swing. Constantly swing in this joyous swing. Remain merged in God's love and no upheaval of any situation or of Maya will come to you. Om Shanti